In today's video, I'm going to attempt to answer the question, why did our ducks die? Good morning, everybody. God, it is chilly out here today. It's wicked chilly, isn't it, Pablo? Huh? Hey, you little blast-ended screw. What are you doing? Eating breakfast? Yeah, it's definitely starting to feel like the chill of fall. So on a Facebook group I'm in, people who've been giving me great advice about my ducks, somebody asked me the question, did you ever get to the bottom of what killed your ducks? We originally had 41 khaki Campbell ducks on our farm. Um, they all showed up as ducklings, and, you know, little fluff balls. They showed up at the farm and we were able to keep them really healthy for about the four, first four and a half weeks. Um, but then after that, we, we faced this epidemic of mysterious duck deaths. And we ultimately ended up losing about a third of our flock. And kind of watching all those ducks die was a really tough time because I didn't know why it was happening. I didn't know what to do differently. I kind of was clueless. And you know, being a beginning farmer and beginning duck keeper, I uh, you know, was just kind of lost as to why this was all going on. While I was going through all the drama of trying to figure out why the ducks were dying mysteriously and what was going on, you know, I was going crazy on the internet, you know, trying to find the equivalent of like duck WebMD and um, trying to figure out what was wrong, what caused the problem, why did they get sick. You know, they seemed to have like bad posture, their necks were slumping in, they um, seemed very listless and lethargic, they, um, didn't look healthy in the eyes, like they had some of the weird droopy looking eyes. And we believe a couple of them actually even had seizures. For those of you not familiar, duck botulism is a lot like human botulism. It's transferred from um, dead things. And so the theory was maybe they got into some mud and they were eating some maggots or something and that carried the botulism and that's how they got sick. And uh, that's how about a third of the flock died. thought it was duck botulism, but we weren't sure. So based on the advice of, of folks, I decided to contact my local USDA guy to get his thoughts. And as I was talking to him, he basically said, look, there's not much you can really do about that one. If I had decided to save one of the dead ducks, there might have been some things and some tests that they could have done. Um, but because by the time I'd called them, I was a, you know about two weeks out past it all, they said that there wasn't too much to do. I went through all that effort to try to do my own personal duck autopsy to see what was trying to kill them. And uh, I didn't think to save one. And instead I decided to just toss them out in the back pasture um, and let them be scavenger feasts. Not having the bodies meant that I couldn't get to a definitive answer of whether or not it was duck botulism. I will say though that I have played this situation over and over in my mind on a number of times and you know, I still wonder if it was maybe something I did wrong um, or if it was just dumb luck. You know, the only other theory I've been working on, and this one would mean that it was entirely my fault. Because I had them outside and because they were not even five weeks old and I was trying to heat them with a kerosene heater or a propane heater because we were too far from the house to run electrical, um, I'm wondering if they just got a little too cold and maybe they got pneumonia. That sickness, you know, really was what made them look lethargic. Their bad posture and that like crunched look that they used to have. Um, maybe that was just because they were really cold. Um, I feel like I can swear if I watch the videos closely enough, I can see like little duck sneezes occasionally too. So if it was duck pneumonia, I feel really awful about it. So to answer that question, why did my ducks die? I don't know. On the upside, the ducks that I still have are doing great. We just recently crossed the 11 week threshold with these guys. I'm getting ready to do the culling of the males at the end of September. Uh, the ladies should probably start laying eggs sometime in October. What's been amazing about all of this is how much I've learned and how many new skills I've developed. And uh, you know, the, the way this has shifted my entire lifestyle. Oftentimes when you're thinking about things like farming and, and, and homesteading, 
Those hard lessons learned are the ones that ultimately make you better and make you more prepared uh, for whatever might come in the future. And so I, I guess for that reason, I'm somewhat grateful I had to deal with this, even though I really wish it hadn't happened.